13 hidden costs of car ownership no salesman will ever tell you about. And why won't they tell you? Well, it's not their job. It's your job to know this stuff. Welcome to the Homework Guy channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of car ownership, and we're about to unveil some secrets that every car owner should know, but you'll never hear about from your car salesman. Let me also say that there's nothing unlucky about this number 13, because it's very lucky for you that we're covering these hidden costs. The only way this 13 could bite you in the butt is if you jump off early or just ignore this video. Whether you're a seasoned driver or a new car enthusiast, being aware of these 13 hidden costs can save you from financial disaster and make your ownership experience a lot less bumpy. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and sitting across from me is the always amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Thanks, Kevin. In this video, we'll be shedding light on the lesser known aspects of car ownership costs that are often overlooked. From insider tips, cost savings, and strategies for minimizing depreciation, and even understanding more about the world of car insurance, we've got you covered. So, if you've ever wondered how to make the most out of your car ownership experience, you're in the right place. Buckle up, friends, and get ready to become a savvy and confident car owner. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable car-related content. All right, Liz, let's jump right in. All right. When budgeting for car ownership, it's important to consider not only the purchase price of the vehicle, of course, that's something we're all aware of, right? But many of you are not aware of these 13 hidden costs associated with owning and maintaining a car, and that's why we're covering them today. No salesman will ever tell you about this stuff, but these 13 hidden costs can add up significantly over time, and you could end up losing your vehicle to a bank repossession. With repossessions going through the roof right now, besides just paying crazy high car payments, one or more of the following 13 reasons could even be contributing to the repo epidemic. Here are the unlucky 13 hidden costs of car ownership. Number one on the list is vehicle depreciation. Depreciation is the decrease in the car's value over time. It starts immediately when the title transfers ownership at the state offices. New cars typically depreciate rapidly during the first few years of ownership. While not a direct expense, it affects the resale value of the car and puts a majority of car owners underwater in your car loans almost immediately after purchasing. This is a very hidden cost because it's money that just trickles out of your pocket. You don't see it immediately, but month after month as you make your car payments, your loan balance isn't going down as fast as the cash value of your vehicle is plummeting. The net result is a bad negative equity situation you might not be able to get out of. This is a huge reason why you should always buy your car at the best price possible, pay the tax title and license fees out of your own pocket, and in addition, put at least 20% down. It might seem like a lot, but you've got to do it now or avoid being hurt later. If you can't do the 20% on the vehicle you're trying to buy, buy something that's cheaper. Totally. Number two is insurance. Car insurance is a recurring expense that can vary significantly based on factors like your location, driving history, the type of car you own, and coverage levels that you are required to have. Insurance is a legal requirement in most places. As Kevin has said many times before, we've seen a monthly insurance bill be as much as a car payment itself. It's a big ouch that bites you almost immediately. You don't want a surprise like that after the fact. Number three is fuel costs. The cost of gasoline or diesel fuel can be a significant ongoing expense, especially if you have a long commute or drive a very fuel inefficient vehicle. This expense just drains you over time. While some of you take fuel economy into consideration when you're buying, most of you don't give honest consideration to how much fuel costs can add to your monthly expenses. And everyone knows fuel isn't getting any cheaper right now. Right. Number four is another big one, maintenance and repairs. Regular maintenance such as oil changes, tire rotations, and brake pad replacements are expected and necessary to keep your car running smoothly. But it's those unplanned repairs that can really hurt. And the older the car is that you have, the more likely you'll encounter this nickel and dime problem. And right now, many of you are keeping those older cars around much longer because of the current vehicle prices. And we don't blame you a bit. This is not to say that we think you should buy an overpriced dealer service plan. Not at all. If you're saving up to buy a different vehicle right now, start a separate savings account for routine maintenance and repairs so your budget doesn't have to take a hit later. Only use the money if you definitely need it. Number five is tax title registration and license fees. It's funny, but out of all the fees dealers are known for charging their customers, tax title license and registration fees are the only fees collected by your local state government. Yeah. They are the only mandatory fees required by law. 
Vehicle registration fees and taxes vary by location and are often assessed when you first purchase the car. Any other fee the dealer attempts to charge you just goes into the dealer owner's pocket 100% of the time. If you don't know what we're talking about, go back and refresh your memory with this video, 11 Fake Fees. Think of dealer fees as an unfair after negotiation price change and you should always fight them. As I said earlier, tax, title, registration, and license fees are state expenses you should always pay for out of pocket at the time of purchase, but never roll them into a car loan. Never. This brings us to number six, financing costs. For those of you who like to finance the purchase of your car by getting a loan, you'll pay interest on the loan amount. The interest rate and loan term can affect how much you pay over time and how quickly you can get into a positive equity situation on your vehicle. Putting 20% cash down and paying the tax, title registration, and licensing fees out of pocket will help you a lot in this regard. Number seven, rapid depreciation on accessories. You probably didn't think of this one now, did you? Yeah. But you know what depreciates even faster than your vehicle? All of the accessories you buy. The bottom line drops out of the value the moment you have them installed on your car. This is a big reason you should be careful with how much money you spend on dealer accessories. Adding aftermarket accessories to your car often does not increase its resale value and quite often leads to accelerated depreciation your budget wasn't counting on. Number eight is parking and tolls. This isn't talked about very often, but depending on where you live and travel, you may incur costs for parking permits, metered parking, tolls, or even parking tickets. Mm -hmm. If this is true for you, you better be prepared to shell out extra money for this. Big cities are known for their tolls and hefty parking fees for garages and ramps and significant fines to boot if you happen to park at the wrong place. They can be really big. Yeah. Number nine, emissions and safety inspections. Some regions require periodic emissions and safety inspections, which can incur additional costs. Take the state of California, for example. Smog inspections are required when you register or renew registration for a vehicle in California, but there are some exceptions. Your vehicle does not need a smog inspection if your gasoline-powered vehicle is a 1975-year model or older. <laughs> Love it. Number 10, replacement parts and tires. As your car ages, you may need to replace parts and tires, which can be costly depending on the make and the model and the type of tires your vehicle needs. Or if you live in a winter environment like we do, you might need an extra set of studded tires for when the ice and snow arrives. Number 11, traffic violations and fines. Got a little bit of a lead foot, do you? <laughs> fines from traffic violations such as speeding tickets or parking citations can add up. Mm -hmm. If you're not sure how big of a problem this is, you should know that over 40 million traffic tickets are issued by law enforcement every year. And not only is the fine itself bad enough, but it has an impact on the next hidden cost of ownership too. Totally. Number 12, jacked up insurance premiums. Accidents or moving violations can result in higher insurance premiums, which can impact your budget. The amount your insurance goes up with an accident can vary a lot. In Rhode Island, for example, you get just a 4% bump, while in states like Ohio and Oregon, your insurance rates can jump by 58%. Definitely do not get an offender bender in Arkansas or California, where your rates can jump by as much as 68%. Then there's Texas and Pennsylvania who take the top spots for biggest rate jumps of up to 72%. Boy, that just seems ridiculous. It is. Number 13 are warranty costs. Extended warranties or service contracts may be offered by the dealer at the time of purchase, which in many cases can add a ton of cost to your upfront expenses. They are almost never worth it. And it's not just us that says it. Consumer Reports also agrees totally with us on that. We recommend that you buy a reliable vehicle, get a pre-purchase inspection done by a good mechanic if you're buying used, take care of your vehicle, and then skip the cost of an extended warranty entirely. I hope this video was helpful because it's critical to adequately budget for these hidden costs when considering car ownership. To minimize expenses, choose a vehicle that fits your budget, not only in terms of the purchase price, but also considering ongoing costs that we've mentioned. As always, maintaining a well-kept vehicle and practicing safe driving can help reduce some of these hidden costs. Another great piece of advice is always take into consideration the track record for reliability that a vehicle has. Do not buy crappy cars, <laughs> friends. If reliability ratings are in the toilet, count on the maintenance expenses of your vehicle financially eating you alive. And a quick reminder to anyone seeking direct help and involvement from me or Kevin in your fourth quarter car deal. There are two membership packages available that offer this. It's easy to join. Just hit the join button below the video and select the package that's right for you. 
The packages that offer direct help are the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99 that gives direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special members-only email. The next package is the Homework Guy Consults at $49.99. This package gives regular text message contact with both Kevin and me, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. This is in addition to the email contact in the previous package. Any membership level can be canceled at any time, so there's no risk for you. Just do us a favor if you sign up or are already signed up for one of our direct help membership packages and send us a text to 701-441-3399 to alert us that you're a new member. Staff will immediately forward your contact info to Kevin and he'll get in contact with you from his personal cell phone. Also, as an extra incentive, for the first 50 members who sign up, all membership levels will get a free copy of our Car Buyer's Manual when it comes out. And remember, becoming a member is simple. Just hit the Join button below the video to sign up today. That's right. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguide.com. So make sure you take time to give us a visit. You can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook. So go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guide channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of you longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We've got to go. go.